girl Bella. popular series play or pass this year's version is going to be updated as well as the title is going to be updated I'm going to be sharing with you some of the makeups that I want to smash or nah I'll pass so to help me out with this I am going to be looking on my Instagram at some new makeup releases the first one that i'm going to be looking at is from makeup on my radar i'll leave her instagram link here as well as in the description box if you too want to follow her on instagram for the latest news on what is being released by some of your favorite brands first thing i want to talk about is the new dior blush and two uh, quints that they have come out with. So the blush is called Dior in Rose Blush. It's number 416 and it retails for $45. Then the two quints that they have retail for $65 each. The first one is 503 Bal Masque and the second one is 803 Rose de Soeur. It is available now on the Dior website. Now, will I smash or now I'll pass? I think I'm going to pass on this one because both of the quads look like things that are already in my collection. And I really want to start utilizing more colors that are outside of the collection that I already have. So I can supplement my collection with other colors that will complement and go with it really well. So for me, it's a nah, I'll pass. But let me know in the comment section below if you are going to pick this up. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is a, another new release from Natasha Denona. This is called her Mini Starlet. It contains five celestial pink tone shades from the original Astral palette. It also features three rich mattes, a luminous shimmer, so you can twinkle like the stars. It is uh, easy to blend and soft to the touch. They glide on to create an eye contour, almost as magical as moon dust. So this retails probably for about $27, usually between $27 and $29. Right now it's only available in Germany, but expected to hit the U.S. market in a few weeks. So I have this on my radar. I'm not going to pick it up right away. I might save this for the fall. Colors are beautiful, but to me, they feel more fall-like or more spring-like. So I can wait on this one. So it's a yeah, I'll smash, but not right now. I'll smash it later. Also a new product release from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Charlotte's Magic Hydrator Mist. It has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. It also has Japanese kombu extract, which adds radiance and revitalization to your skin. It's also an energizer and it promotes smoother, younger, pollution free defense for your skin as well. It is coming soon, so it's not available just yet. But this is something that I definitely would smash. Um, it looks really, really hydrating, really luminous. From the pictures I see, it looks like it would be a benefit to my collection. All right, you know what I'm going to say next, right? Chanel. Okay, so the Chanel Colors has released. I'm going to put a picture up again here so you can see it. But here's my thing. 
It was supposed to be released July 7th. It's already been leaked and released. So people have been clamoring and grabbing this left and right. I'm trying to get my hands on as many of the products as I can in the shade 143, which is that diva color. It's a bright fuchsia pink. They also have a ballerina pink, which is my fallback, just in case I can't get 143, but I am trying my best to get a hold of that color. Um, so if you know your local Chanel has it, holla at your resident Bougie Bella because I need that Chanel set. I want to get the brush set, I want to get the mirror, and I want to get the nail file just because. So definitely that is on my smash list. They also have a new foundation formula that has Red Camilla Extract and Red Camilla Oil. It is a complexion luminizer that revitalizes the skin's natural radiance and protects against environmental aggressors. It also will promote a youthful appearance day after day. It has hyaluronic acid, which offers, as you know, long-lasting hydration and protection. And it has a smoothing and perfecting quality as well. The formula can be worn on its own or as a primer underneath the foundation. It's available in three sheer luminous pearlescent shades for a luminous finish. So I think I'm going to grab the one in the middle because I think that that is closer to my skin color. I am loving this formula. So definitely it is on my radar and the price is $60. So that is it, babes. Those are the makeup things that I either want to smash or nah, I'll pass. Let me know in the comment section below what things are on your radar that you want to smash or what things that you've seen that you want to nah, I'll pass in the description box below. And as always, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe bell and then tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload, go live, or post a video. Until next time, you have now been Bellified.